So you know how they say two is one and one is none? Well, today I'm going to get you a deal on two of these that really only cost you the price of one. Today we're checking out the Feli Superbright 1200 lumen headlamp and all of its features. Let's check it out. All right, so something like this, I feel, again, I'll tell you quickly the story. I never was a believer in headlamps. I started putting one on during a power outage one time, and I was like, wow, what a difference. If you've only used flashlights all your lives, and you're used to having that one hand tied up with the flashlight and doing stuff with the other, having a headlamp is a freeing experience. It was amazing. And from that point on, I've been using it. I actually dug one out of my bug out bag, because they always said, you need a headlamp in your bug out bag, and I got one. I actually dug one out of my bug out bag, and started using it around my house when I needed it. And wow, what a difference. And I've since replaced that many times over. But it was really interesting to see how handy a headlamp really is, especially when you're walking and you might need your hands to catch yourself or grapple with something or hold on to something while you're climbing up a hill. Very handy to have your hands free. Now this one can easily illuminate your tent or the road ahead and it can be turned on and off just by a single press so you don't need to cycle through your modes. It will remember the last mode it was in. It also has a motion detection feature and we'll get into that in a minute but I want to show you the, the deal here. You're going to get two of these. Okay. I have the empty box over there but here's the other one. Okay, And these come with a instruction manual and of course a charging cable. It is USB-C I believe. Yep. And the most generic box in the world. Look, headlamp. <laughs> Not much to say there. Actually, it isn't USB-C. It's a standard USB connector. Okay? And I could have... Oh, no, it is standard. That's right. I was charging these up, and I forgot. I thought it was a different one. Anyway, it is a standard USB connector. You will have three buttons across the top. It has four different modes. You have a strong beam, a wide beam, a steady red beam, and an SOS in red. You're going to have your power here, your mode on this one, and this is your motion activation, which you can turn off anytime you want. A good example of the motion activation, let's turn it on, okay? You go up and down, okay? And you need to be close enough where it won't possibly mistakenly trigger itself. So it's not going to, you know, if you walk in front of a tree or something, it's not going to shut itself off. It is a pretty decent, you know, pretty close up need to be there. Now the flood, it looks like it's run, the floodlight, the uh, wider light, Looks like it run, it's run by these cob LEDs on the side. And of course your spotlight's run in the middle. And your red are these on top. And we're just starting to get some rain out here in the desert. That's awesome. So it can last for 4 to 10 hours in different modes after being fully charged. I guess if you're running it on its highest, it's only going to last 4 hours. On its medium, the wide spot, you'll probably get about 8 to 10 hours on it. Okay, you can also power this with a power bank or car charger while hiking or camping. Weighs less than an egg. It's elastic adjustable headband. Makes it very comfortable to wear on your head. There is no top to this. I kind of prefer ones without that top strap. I like just having the side strap. Makes it a little bit easier for me to use. Okay. It can also be adjusted up and down to 90 degrees. So if I have to point this downward, I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the other side of the room. And we're going to try it out in a home environment like this. And see just how well it works. Alright, I got it on my head. I'm going to put it on the high mode first. It is angled downward a little bit. Let me straighten that out. There we go. Forgive my boxes there. I have to go to the recycling place with those. Um, those are ones I'm not going to be using, so they're garbage. But as you can tell, it's got quite a focused beam. I'm not sure it's 1,200 lumens, but I'd give it a good 600. I mean, it's pretty darn bright, and it's lighting up everything else in my area. Let's try the wide now. Okay. Wrong one. There we go. Now, the wide one I like because... It's a lot brighter on camera than it is here in person, but it actually lets me see everything nice and wide. It lights everything up for me, and my hair is hanging over one side of it. It lights everything up for me really, really well. So, like that. Let's try the next mode. This is red. I may have to show you this on, uh, on camera. Yeah, see, you're not going to be able to see that. <laughs> There's your red. Okay, and obviously, you're not going to get much light off that. Let's turn you to the side here. But you can see in a low light situation, you can make out that tape, that uh, freezer and what's on it and everything. So it definitely works. Let's try it on the next mode. This is the flashing SOS. Can definitely be seen, probably from a very long distance, I would imagine. And then we move back to the main bright light.
light. So as you can tell, I got it off my head now. Pretty darn bright. I'm really impressed with it. Let's quickly show you that hand motion thing going on here. I'm going to turn it on. And when that is on, that last red button will be red. Okay. There it is. Off. There it is on. Off and on. So I definitely like that. Now let's try and see how far away. See? It won't do it from super far away. So branches and stuff like that aren't a problem. But when you get up close, it'll shut right off for you. So definitely a cool feature. All right, let's wrap up the video, and I'll tell you where you can pick them up. All right, so you definitely saw it was um, quite impressive, i got to say, for the price on these. And there are two of them. I will show you the other box. It's all packed up in here. I haven't unpacked it yet. And I am actually going to put these into use. There's the other one. Um, because I like the, you know, I was using that cob LED out here to clean my car and for tasks around here. And while it lit up a big area very brightly, the spot wasn't there, so I couldn't see certain areas that I wanted to see. You know, it, was, it wasn't it was bright in one place, which is what I want when I'm doing something in a very dark environment, if I'm looking at something. Um, the other one is good maybe for outdoors with the big cob LED, but I think I'm going to sell that one off and keep one of these out here for use because I really do like the way they work. Um, they're very, very handy. And make sure, too, one of the things I forgot to tell you is there will be some protective plastic across the front of these. Make sure you peel that off so you don't accidentally activate it and uh, end up having it burn up that piece of plastic. Now when it's on, you will see the bars on top there. And as you can tell, I fully charged this one, so it's all ready to go. Um, so it's definitely a handy little thing. Now the cool part about it is you get two of these for $17.99. So for $18, bucks, you get two of these. When it comes to prepping, to be able to get yourself something that's, you know, a two, two for the price of one type deal. And let's face it, most headlamps are pretty darn expensive. Um, they probably will be a little more than you need. I mean, we don't need 200,000 lumens while we're out, you know, hiking. A simple 1,000 lumens, six, 700, 500 lumens, more than enough. Thousands even overkill when you're out in the, you know, brush walking around. I found thousands to be too bright. So, for this one here, definitely a good deal. $17.99. There is a 10% little thing under the price that says click this box and save 10%. So, hey can't beat that. Save 10% off it. You get a little bit more money off it too. I will put a link down below in my store with this as well. The uh, dimensions on this are 4.17 inches by 3.35 inches by 3.3 inches. So not a super heavy item. It's under, uh, what is it, uh, 1.2 ounces. So it's very, very lightweight. Um, almost felt like kind of too cheap at first. And then I started using it and said, hey, this is a pretty darn good light. So definitely a lightweight, easy to use little headlamp. Um, I don't think you really need all that funky, fancy stuff sometimes. You know, I, I do Olight reviews for their headlamps, and I love them, but I'd be afraid to lose those things out in the woods. This thing, who cares? I got another one at home, you know? If you give them to your kids, you know, they're the more than bright enough for them to see where they're walking or whatever in the dark, but they're not going to break the bank if they break or get lost. So I definitely like that, and you get two of them for one price. All right. Check our links down below. We have our Amazon affiliate store, our freeze-dried wholesaler store. You'll save 15% by using my link, and I love their food. You can get everything from filet mignon to cheesecake to brownies, everything freeze-dried. All there from meat to cooked meat to raw meat to everything. Right there on their site, vegetables galore, you name it. So 15% off by using my link down there. Our My Patriot Supply link, if you guys are just getting started and you want a good chunk of food in your home, we have our three-month kit right there. Three months of food, and it's $150 off. It was affordable to start with, so now you take $150 off, you're definitely talking affordable. Below that, we have our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. If you don't want to join anything, if you don't want to become a, a consultant or resell it, or you, want to, you don't want to deliver, you can just order the food and try it out. Trust me, folks, it's good stuff. I really, really enjoy their food. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well illuminated, and stay prepared.